Senator Barack Obama, I have a question for you. As an American citizen, I have seen lots of jobs leave our country. A lot of the people that I speak to in the streets say it because of NAFTA or whatever. As an American citizen, will you, how can you, and is it the top priority for you to bring jobs back to the United States? As the President of the United States, will you have the courage to shut down companies that mistreat, disrespect, and pretty much slave other human beings? Understand what I mean by slave. Just because you get a salary, that doesn't mean you're not a slave. What I'm trying to say, Senator, is this. If I was the President of the United States of America, I'd take all these factories that are being closed down and I'd open them. So you say, uh, young man, uh, sir, what are you going to put in these factories? I'm going to build what the world needs. If we need electric cars, I will open up these closed down factories to build electric cars. If Americans are stupid, I will reopen these factories, these closed down factories, to build every American a computer. Well, Senator. So you, you figure, how could I do these things? The same way I'm going to ask Hillary, the same way I'm going to ask John McCain, and the exact same way I'm going to ask you. Is there any reason why we just can't do it? In World War II, in one, America's workforce went back to work. We had war and no one's building any war machines. Hmm. Funny. I think we're in a bigger war. A war on brilliance. A war against a war. We're in a war against originality. A lot of us feel as if we're funneled into some new world order that we're not willing to go into kindly. We're just going in, into it blindly. And, well, questions, statements, questions, statements, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying now. Excuse my language. But, Senator, can you put people to work via eminent domain? Can you put people to work building the new cars of our future? Can you put people to work building computers to teach our people? Can you do that? Will you try? If I were the President of the United States of America, I would get all the so-called 5% together and talk to them. I would talk to them in the exact same manner I'm speaking to you right now. And I would ask them, could you please let us live? And what I mean by that is this. We're having problems with oil. We're having problems with this and we're having problems with that. As a country, we are capable of building ourselves out of this. And if we're not smart enough to do it, why aren't we? Push comes to shove, sending people back to work, even to make something that makes no sense at all to anyone, is better than not having people do nothing at all. So you're telling me if we were at war with China, nobody would do nothing. 
let the military take care of it. I tell you this, young man, who is trying to be the president of the country in which I am prepared to die in and for. If given the opportunity, will you send people to work in factories rebuilding America? Can you? Will you try? I don't know. But I'm going to pose this exact same question to Hillary and to Johnny. And if you have seen any of my videos, don't take them wrong. I really do like you. But America, in my opinion, needs more than a new president. They need work. And, like I do in every video, I make a statement. But this statement will be different, Barack Obama. This statement is for you. What are you going to do for those people who don't believe in anyone made, resembling, nappy-headed, big lip, and all that? What are you going to do to those people who would rather spit in your face than to help you up off the ground if you fell down. See, hate is something that's not being really talked about. Do you think that you have an opportunity? Because I know you have the opportunity. But do you think you have the opportunity to change the world? And if you think you do have an opportunity to change the world, I want you to understand one thing, Barack Obama. It's not the world that needs to be changed. It's America that needs to be healed. People need to go to work. I don't care if people are going to a factory to make bubble gum. I don't care if people are going to a factory to make nothing. So what is nothing? Well, Senator, all I want to know is this. Can you send people back to work? Can you re-educate the people? And can you get those who are indifferent and different to follow you? Not just to vote to you for you, but to follow you. See, People will say one thing to throw perception one way. But like I hear, everyone's saying Barack should get out of the race. I don't want you to get out of the race. I want you to do the best you can. Not for me. Not for black people. But for your wife, your children, and your family. Because if I had the opportunity, I would do the exact same. Thank you for your time. And maybe listen to what I said. Send people to work. Let's go bake electric cars. And then just give give everybody a free car. Send people to work and give cars away for free, the electric ones. Let's do something. Send people to work building computers and give everybody a free computer. Send them to work. But, hey, maybe you'll just go have our new cars and new computers made in Taiwan or something. That's what the last few presidents did. Like I said, thank you for your time. Good luck in your endeavors. And, um, have a good day and shit. Oh, excuse my language. You've been too.